Welcome to the second stop of the 2023 season for the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour, presented by Progressive. We're in Oshkosh, Wisconsin on Lake Winnebago, where high winds, low visibility, and warming waters have much of the field scratching their heads. These fish just seem to be in a little bit of a weird mood. I think it's just going to be one of them tournaments where you're just going to have to keep moving until you eventually, hopefully, land on them. Another 16-incher, but holy cow, that thing is fat. Probably going to have to box this one, uh, at least to get the day started. Uh, we got one to play with, so I think it's a uh, tough to bite it. It's a smart decision to keep this one. When we arrived at the scales, less than half of the field had brought in a limit, underscoring how tough the fishing was for everyone. Moving up to the top of the leaderboard, Max Wilson and co-angler Mason Jackson brought a limit of 1511 to the scales. Weighing five fish for 17 pounds, Tom Wynn and Robert Rewolinski blocked up second place, finishing right behind your day one leader, Todd Zemke. Great bag, you gotta beat 17 pounds and announce to take the lead. Todd and Tyler, five fish, 19 pounds, five ounces, new leaders. With Zemke in charge, here's a look at your top 10 on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's leaderboard. Now we're picking up coverage on day number two from stop number two of the most lucrative walleye series in the country. This week, anglers are fishing for a combined purse of more than $300,000. For the winner on the pro side, there's an $84,000 prize package up for grabs. We'll kick things off with current leader Todd Zemke and his co-angler, Buddy Dietz. I was just saying it's not fast and furious, but we just need one fish an hour. And hopefully they're the right ones. It's white tail. Yes. 19 and a quarter. While Todd and Buddy reset, we'll move down the lake and check in with Mike Defebaugh and co-angler Andy Ashenbrenner. After a mid-pack finish at stop one, the Ranger Pros stepped it up here on Winnebago with 14 pounds, three ounces on day one. Oh, small one. That's all right. It's a walleye, small one. Okay. <laughs> well, he ain't a keeper. I guess I shouldn't have bothered with it. Good job, though. You got it. Moving on, we'll catch up with Tom Wynn and Nicholas Drager. I've been nervous each day about going out and getting a limit, and today was that day. I was stressing. Um, we went most of the day, yeah. had two fish. After that, it was a grind, and then literally, I came up on this area, and I caught um, three in a matter of probably 15 minutes or less. But it was, it's not like, I mean, it, they just moved in. Got him. That is the right kind is locating these fish. And I just literally said 10, 15 minutes ago, they should start pulling up and thank goodness he did. Got this tungsten jig right here. Just like this one here actually hit it on the fall. That's not normal. But this tungsten, when those, those teeth hit it, it's game over. You feel it immediately because tungsten is so much denser than lead. And uh, yeah, I love these freaking jigs and we need to get back after it, so. There she is. Welcome back to Lake Winnebago in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. This is the second stop of the 2023 season and a favorite among the anglers. So Oshkosh is really unique. It started obviously with a lot of fishing industry in our city. We actually have an exhibit going on right now at our Oshkosh Public Museum called This is Winnebago Land. We have a lot of great things uh, in our downtown area. We have a lot of local boutiques, a lot of great restaurants. We actually have a lot of great waterfront dining options. You can visit our website, which is discoveroshkosh.com. It has a full list of all the events that are happening in Oshkosh, as well as different venues, different shopping, and different restaurants. So we have a full list there for everything that you're looking to do. Getting back to tournament coverage, we're down to the final hours and rejoining day one leader, Todd Zemke, on the water. After putting a 19-incher in the box early, it was a long wait before the second came along 
the walleye. In a no-call event with six fish allowed and weighing five, he's got one to play with. But this is a big decision. <laughs> Dummy. Dummy. How do you feel about that? I think it was the wrong move. Because we're going to get big ones. 18 and a half. Sticking with his program, each walleye he landed was bigger than the last. Oh, that's a walleye. That's a little better one. That one might be 20. That one's like 19 and a half. No, I'm going to keep it, I think. With that last catch, we'll catch up with Todd at weigh-in. Let's check in with Max Wilson, who launched today in third place. Yeah, it's been slow. Uh, a lot of little ones, not the right size. So we've thrown back uh, quite a few fish, probably 15, 20 fish caught so far. Just uh, not only one little. And a bunch of these things. Take that. Yep. Building towards a limit, Max isn't done yet. He knows how to win, and he's had a handful of good finishes on this trail. Even if he doesn't win today, it's only a matter of time. Back in Menno Mini Park, we're ready to head to the scales. Max Wilson weighed five for nine pounds, two ounces, and finished this event in fifth place. Mitchell Dawn moved up one spot and landed in fourth place with a two-day total of 26.09. Curtis Tripke launched this morning tied for 18th and fished his way up the leaderboard to end the day in third place with a two-day total of 26.11. Tom Wynn was up next. It's going to be close. Uh, it's not what I had yesterday, but um, it's, it's going to be enough to put pressure on the rest of the leaders. So. Tom needs 9 pounds and 12 ounces to take the lead. Tom, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Needed 9, 12, he's got 14, 3, 14, 3, your new leader. Congratulations, guys. And now we're down to one. They've got five fish to show off today. Todd needs 11 pounds and 15 ounces to steal the lead. Five fish to try and do it. It is not even close. 12, five, your winner. 31 pounds, 10 ounces. Your winner here, Todd Zemke from Red Wing, Minnesota. I just won the National Walleye Tour. How do you feel? I feel awesome. Very good. And he should feel awesome. Todd cashed in on a prize package worth $88,435. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10 on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's leaderboard. On the co-angler side, Wisconsin's Alexander Kenny locked up his first win on the tour. Checking in on the Progressive Angler of the Year point standings, Wisconsin's Justin Schneider is your new points leader with only two events and the championship left to go. Well, that'll do it for today, folks. For information on schedules, registration, and more, look us up at nationalwalleytour.com.